We are here today to attend the swearing in ceremony of His Excellency Adam Abaro, President and Head of State of the Republic of the Gambia, following the presidential elections held on 1st December 2016. This ceremony, placed under the auspices of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, will be organized in the following sequence. First of all, His Excellency, Mr. Sheriff Mary Tambedu, President of the Gambian Bar Association, will invite His Excellency Adam Abaro, the President and Head of State of the Republic of the Gambia, to take his oath of office. Then, the national anthem, the Republic of the Gambia, will be rendered for the first time. The new president and head of states will deliver his inaugural speech. It will be followed by a joint ECOWAS UN and UA statement. We will have the second rendition of the national anthem, which will be followed by the group picture. Without further delay, let me invite His Excellency, Sheriff Meritam Bedu, President of the Gambian Bar Association, to receive the oath of His Excellency, Mr. Adam Adaro, President and Head of State of the Republic of the Gambia. Now, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, please be upstanding for the rendition of the national anthem of the Republic of the Gambia. Hold it with your left hand, please. And please raise your right hand. I don't need the mic. I don't need it. Please repeat after me. I, Adam Abaro, I, Adam Abaro, do swear, do swear that, I will well and truly that I will well and truly execute the functions of the office, execute the function of the office of the President of the Republic of the Gambia, of the office of the President of the Republic of the Gambia, that I will preserve and defend the Constitution, but I will preserve and defend the Constitution, and that I will do right, then I will do right to all manner of people, to all manner of people, According to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. Thank you. So remain upstanding for the national anthem. For the Gambia, our homeland is the national anthem of the Gambia. It was written by Virginia July O and composed by Jeremy Frederick O based on the traditional Mandenka song Fode Kaba Dumbia. It was adopted after an international competition to produce an anthem before independence in 1965. Now, Your Excellency, Adam Abaro, 
President and Head of State of the Republic of this, the Gambia, may I respectfully invite you to deliver your inaugural speech. Fellow Gambians and friends of the Gambia, I humbly stand before you to address the whole world on this historic occasion. This is a day no Gambian will ever forget in one's lifetime. This is the first time since the Gambia became independent in 1965 that Gambia has changed their government through the ballot box. I must take this opportunity to thank the entire electorate of the Gambia and Gambians in the diaspora for making this day possible. I thank the entire campaign team of the Coalition 2016 and the stakeholders for putting our side aside their political differences to unite us for national interests. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, allow me to register special appreciation to Her Excellency, Ellen Johnson Sharif, the President of Liberia, and the Chairperson of the Authority of Head of State of ECOWAS, for her personal commitment and tireless efforts towards resolving the political crisis in the Gambia. The same sentiments goes to His Excellency Mohamed Buhari, the President of the Republic of Nigeria. His Excellency Anes Baikruma, the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. And His Excellency Dramani Mahama, former President of Ghana. I must also express profound gratitude to ECOWAS, AU, the Security Council, the United Nations, an all friendly nation who stood during our time of greatest need. I wish to thank His Excellency Makisa, President of the Republic of Senegal, for, his, for, for, for hosting hospitality accorded to me and my delegation at the request of ECOWAS Chair. This is what it means to be part of a community of democratic nations. Exceptional circumstances have compelled me to be shown here today and does not permit all those who made this day possible to be present. It was later realized that the loser of the elections may not fulfill the mandate of caretaker government and facilitate a proper integration with the full support of all state agencies. In fact, two days before the time of the office of the incumbent expired, a state of emergency was declared. A state of emergency was declared. However, the Constitution of Gambia does not permit any lawmaker to deprive a citizen of a right that is already acquired. My right as a winner to be sworn in and assume the office of president is constitutionally guaranteed and irreversible. I hereby make a special appeal to ECOWAS, AU and the UN, particularly the Security Council, to support the government and people of the Gambia in enforcing their will. Restore their sovereignty and constitutional legitimacy. I therefore call on all civilians and military personnel of the state to support my presidency, since it is built on the constitutional foundation. They are assured that they will not be subjected to any injustice and discrimination, but will be provided with better working conditions and terms of service. This is a victory of the Gambian nation. Our 
national flag will now fly high among those of the most democratic nations of the world. The capacity to effect change through the ballot box has proven power belongs to the people in the Gambia. Violent change is vanished forever from the political life of this country. All Gambians are there for winners. There is no loser in this election. It is a fact that we contested election on the basis of political diversity, but we build nations on the basis of national unity. We are here assembled as one Gambia, one people, and one nation. Throughout our campaign, we promised to unify our diverse people so that each would take ownership of the country, irrespective of ethnic, origin, religion, gender, or the differences. Today, most Gambians are united in order to give Gambia a new start. Hence, as of today, I am the president of the Gambia, regardless of whether you voted for me or not. We could now become the architect of our democratic republic that is built on the pillars of good governance, rule of law, respect for fundamental rights, and freedoms. My government will implement comprehensive reforms. This includes constitutional, institutional, and legal reform to expand the democratic gains we have made. Your Excellencies, Honorable Guests, Fellow Gambians, I belong to the generation of children who were born in 1965. With the Gambia becoming independent, I believe in the wise saying that to whom much is given, much is expected. I established a think tank, the Agency for Sustainable Social Economic Development, ASIP. This will bring experts on board to share their knowledge and skills in order to put in place an inclusive development agenda. Your Excellencies, Honorable Guests, and Fellow Gambians, I would like to conclude by saying, men and women of this nation join hands to effect change that was in the making for decades. This is a change that should bring liberty and prosperity to everyone and not to be discriminated on basis of gender, religion, or ethnic origin. We are now determined to build a Gambia where merit and what you know counts more than whom you know. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, I call on all personnel of the Armed Forces and other security agencies to remain loyal to the Constitution and the Republic. I command the Chief of the Defense Staff and other officers of high command to demonstrate their loyalty to me as their Commander-in-Chief, without any delay. I command all members of the armed forces to remain in their barracks. Wow. Those found wanting or in possession of firearms without my order shall be considered rebels. Gambia is our homeland. It demands our love and loyalty. Let us all pledge our firm allegiance to be ever true to our motherland, the Gambia. Long live the Republic. Long live the United People of the Gambia. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you.